Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Taisha. I'm back with another video and today I'm going to be doing a foundation review. We're going to be trying out the new Makeup Forever Matte Velvet Skin Foundation. I picked up the shade in Y365. Hopefully it's a good match. I know this foundation oxidizes by the pictures I saw on the Sephora page. This foundation retails for $38, so it is a more higher-end foundation. So in case you guys are new to my foundation reviews, I have oily skin, I have texture, I have pores, so I love trying now any foundation that claims to be matte and this one claims to be a 24 hour foundation we're not going to be trying out for 24 hours because that's way too long and i cannot even stay awake for that long so we're going to be trying out for a good eight hours or more let's see how our day goes and also i have my shade range in other foundations in the description box below because i know a lot of you guys are my foundation twins but you guys that's pretty much all i have to say if you guys do like foundation reviews and all that stuff make sure you guys give me a thumbs up and if you're new to my channel don't forget to subscribe and hit the little bell so you guys know every time i upload a new video but without further ado let's go ahead and get started all right guys so i went ahead and slip the camera in ignore my hair it's a complete mess i usually always have it straight or something because i have naturally curly hair so to make it manageable i have to straighten it all that stuff and then i got a new piercing so i have to be like soaking it in water every like two to three times a day so my hair gets wet and it gets curly and then it's straight here curly here a mess just a mess but anyways back to the foundation today like i said i'm gonna be trying out the makeup ever matte velvet skin foundation you guys told me to pick this one first i put a poll on my community page and this one won and don't worry i'm still gonna be reviewing the it cosmetics cc cream and the natasha denona i forgot the name but i'm still gonna be reviewing that of course if you guys want me to so let me know in the description or not in the description box let me know in the comments below if you guys still want me to review those foundations but i'm gonna go ahead and reach you guys a description of this foundation right here this foundation says it's a breathable full coverage foundation with a life like matte finish i cannot speak that bends and breathes with skin for up to 24 hours it's full coverage matte formulation is liquid and it says you can use it if you have normal to dry skin so pretty much everyone can use it according to this so we're gonna go ahead and see if it's not too matte because some foundations claim to be for everybody and they're really matte on me so we're gonna go ahead and test this out like always i prime one side of my face so for today i'm gonna prime this side right here so i'm gonna apply the Too faced hangover primer right here to this side of my face i like this primer a lot because it gets tacky and even though i have oily skin i honestly feel like this primer is pretty good for my skin type as well all right so once i put this outside of my face right here since i get super oily i'm gonna go ahead and apply the nyx can stop won't stop primer i review the whole little line so i'll have the video right here in the cards for anybody wondering but this primer you guys reminds me so much of the becca um, ever matte primer which is amazing okay, so once we are prime i picked up the shade in 1365 which is described here as desert and honestly you guys it was kind of hard to pick up my shade online because wet uh, i'm gonna just insert the picture right here as you guys can see wet it dries like wet is really light and then when it dries it dries darker so hopefully i did a good job i am a little bit self tan as you guys can see that's why my face is a lot lighter than my body so hopefully we match i'm just gonna go ahead and shake this it doesn't say anything at all i do have to shake it or not so i'm just gonna go ahead and do it like this and it comes in a really nice packaging perfect for traveling and it reminds me of the l'oreal what is it called hopefully you guys don't want to talk about the l'oreal foundation it's like the packaging okay see it looks really light but i swear in the picture it looks darker so we're gonna go ahead and try it out let me start off by the prime side i'm just gonna dot it all over my face and blend it out with the beauty blender first well it is covering pretty good this is just one layer and you can definitely see my imperfections Oh my god so this is what it looks like with one layer i'm honestly super impressed usually my dark marks on my face um, are still showing through with some foundations and this one you can kind of see them but kind of not so i'm just gonna apply a little bit more right here on my cheeks and the texture it's not thick thick but it's like liquidy mixed with thick it's more thick than liquidy but it's not extremely thick that like you have to like dry it if that makes sense i like the texture 
Usually when foundations have this kind of texture, it's full coverage, which I love. Okay, let's go ahead and try it on this other side. See, I do like one little pump. And then we're gonna do this side with the brush. And the brush I'm using today is the Morphe Y6 brush. All right guys, so this is what it looks like with the brush. Definitely more coverage in the first try, as you guys can see right there. Um, but I kind of like applying it with the brush first and then going in to add a little bit more coverage on my cheeks i'm telling you guys dark marks it sucks um but i'm gonna go in with the beauty blender and just pack it right here where i need extra coverage i feel like this way it looks more natural all right guys so this is what the foundation looks like everything is completely set um i really like the finish of this foundation it honestly it just looks like my skin what do you guys think um it's definitely not cakey it's definitely not flaky so so far i really like this foundation i'm gonna go ahead and do my face with you guys i saw the comments and that's what you guys want me to do so that's what i'm gonna do so um for concealer today i'm gonna use one of my favorite concealers ever which is the ColourPop concealer i usually use the shade 26 and 30 so usually i apply the lighter shade right here or wait i think oh no 26 not 28 26 i applied this the lighter shade right here and then for the rest of my face i apply the 30. okay so once we are completely blended i'm just gonna go ahead and set my face let's see my favorite powders ever i swear by these i recommend them to everybody they're the maybelline fit me powders so for under my eyes i use a light medium and then for the rest of my face i use and I love applying them with the same beauty sponge all right and then now I'm using the medium shade and for that I use the rounder side of the brush and I just pack it on my cheeks just a little bit not too much because I do want to see how this foundation wears I'm just gonna go ahead and contour my face my favorite one is this Tarte Park Ave princess bronzing thing and I like using this shade right here for my face all right and then of course I'm gonna apply some blush I've been loving doing this lately I use this wet n wild color icon blush in mellow wine so beautiful you guys and I'm using a morphe e4 brush I literally go in once tap excess and apply to the apples on my cheeks can never forget that glow I'm just gonna apply a little bit um, so I'm gonna use this makeup revolution soap palette and I use this shade right here with an AOA studio $1 brush all right my love so I finished up the rest of my makeup for lashes I'm wearing the leave lashes in the style Miami and then for the rest of my makeup check the description box as always but honestly you guys I am super impressed on this foundation I think I really like it like always I say think because we have to see how it works and wears throughout the day but honestly you guys um I see no pores like in both sides I feel like my face looks the same I don't see a difference at all hopefully it stays like this because right now it's a really nice matte finish but it's not super matte and drying like the one that I tried last time the NYX foundation was definitely like a matte foundation this one has more of a matte it's a matte finish but not super drying matte hopefully that makes sense um but yeah you guys that's pretty much all I have to say um right now it is 1209 hopefully you guys can see that right there I'm gonna go ahead and wear this foundation throughout my day I'm actually going to a baseball game later on today with my friends so I'm gonna be outside and we can really test this and see if it's actually heat proof and all that stuff because even though it's September you guys here in Texas it doesn't get cold till like October after my birthday which is after October 20th but yeah guys I'm gonna go ahead and stop rambling let's see what I do with my hair for today because it's just a mess but I should see you guys in a couple of hours all right you guys so it's still the same time I just wanted to show you guys how it looks like without those lights in the back so this is my window right in front of me this is how everything looks like just in case you guys want to see the real color of the foundation um, I saw one of you guys commented that so here it is hopefully this helps you guys a little bit more and better to see the actual color of the foundation all right so I am finally back home it is officially 12 36 in the morning I hope you guys can see it right there on my phone um, I've been out all day you guys and this is how my makeup looks like I cannot believe it's still on um, I was outside I went to a baseball game and you guys look at me I am still 
going strong 12 hours strong this foundation does say it lasts for 24 hours i'm not sure i'm not gonna test that out because i'm already tired but i haven't even blocked my face i haven't even touched my face the whole day and my foundation in my opinion looks pretty pretty good what do you guys think let me know um but it has been 12 hours my foundation is still intact and my nose right here it is starting to get oily like i can definitely move my makeup around but again for being 12 hours it's not that bad and you can still see my bronzer a little bit of my highlight it could be oils as well but overall you guys i honestly do like this foundation it is lightweight it does not feel like i'm wearing makeup it definitely is heat resistant because i was outside like i said in a baseball game and it was really hot today it is definitely like a shade too light for me but it's because i'm like self tan but after the tan fades i'm definitely like this is my shade so let me know if you guys have tried this foundation if you guys have tried it let me know your color and let me know what you guys think of this foundation because i'm excited this foundation works and it's amazing for all your skin people this is actually my first time trying something out from makeup forever believe it or not i have never tried anything from them so the first thing i have tried i really do like it and i know a lot of you guys want me to try out the stick foundation which i definitely will in the future but yeah i'm gonna go ahead and go and take all of my makeup off and take this lashes off and finally call it a day hope you guys had an amazing labor day weekend wherever you're at hopefully you're having a wonderful day or night and i should see you guys on my next video bye guys